What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris back with you with another cool video. Um, this one here is of the moon, but what's funny about it, it's called, the actual caption of it is the uh, first view of the Earth from moon, instead of from the moon, but whatever. Um, so it's from the, uh, the orbiter, Lunar Orbiter 1, um, and let's check this out. This is pretty cool. All right, so you got first view of Earth from moon. Again, I don't know why they call it from the moon. Uh, but anyway, it says, on Aug uh, August 23rd, 1966, the world received its first view of the Earth taken by space by a spacecraft from, sorry, from the vicinity of the moon. The photo was transmitted to Earth by the Lunar Orbiter 1 and received at the NASA tra tracking station at Robledo de Chavela, uh, Nando, uh, Madrid, Spain. Sorry if I butchered that, guys, but, you know. Uh, the image was taken during the spacecraft's 16th orbit. Uh, and, of course, uh, the image credit goes to NASA for this. Um, what's really weird, though, if you look at it, it says March 23rd, 2008. That's kind of weird, you know. Um, and then, of course, it's last updated July 31st, uh, 2015. Why would you need to do that? Why would you need to update anything? Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. This is the actual photo. I haven't done anything to it. Um, what's cool about this, now, this is a total mess, uh, this photo, because they've done a lot of airbrushing and a lot of obfuscation and manipulation to this thing, but they left out a couple of neat things uh, that they didn't cover. Um, first thing I want you guys to take note is, as you can see, they took they put it in strips, and as you can see that, we'll go ahead and z zoom in. You can see the strips, horizontal uh, striping, if you will, but that's how it took the actual photos. It just did it in strips, and of course, they you know, stitched them together to make a big panorama, if you will. Uh, and the same thing here with the moon, I'm sorry, with our Earth, and you can see the sections of it in here, and they just kind of spliced it all together. So pretty cool. Um, I like it a lot. I mean, I like the way they did it because it, this goes back to 1966. Um, but the item we're talking about is pretty small, you know, in contrast to this whole lunar photo. Uh, it's in the lower right corner right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but let's have a look. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this. Eh, we'll go about 200%. Yeah, let's go about 200% and then go down to this. And I need you to take on this, guys. I need you to tell me which you think it is right here. What do you suppose that is right there in the lower right? What I find interesting about this is like it's kind of like looking at us, but it's long, if you will. So you're seeing right here would be the end facing us. Um, and then, of course, it's got a flat top to it and it goes towards the back. But you've got a side and it kind of looks like it goes, I don't know if it's rounded or if it goes up, like almost like a pyramid kind of like uh, angle. Uh, has a flat top and then drops back down. And it looks like you can see a little bit of that, what you see here on the right. And you can see that right there, but it's blocked out. Now, what I noticed was is there's something right here that has, I'm going to use the term white squares because it is a low resolution photo. Uh, and it is really hard to see that. Now, what I want to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. And guys, listen, stop this video as usual and just check this thing out with your, you know, with your eyepieces or your magnifiers because there's tons to see in here. I'm just going to show you a few things, and then, of course, you guys can uh, eyeball it yourself. Now, let's go into Photoshop because I want to show you this. This is pretty neat. Now, this is the original photo. I haven't done anything to it. Um, but this is what you can do. You can go over to Image. If you're in Photoshop, I got CS6. Uh, um, you can go into Image, go down to... Over here, down to shadows and highlights. So you're going to switch over. This is, uh, you got the drop-down box to the right. And adjustments. Drop all the way down to shadows and highlights and watch what happens. It actually will bring up your darker areas. And then, of course, you can bring down the lighter areas by doing this. And so this way you can balance it out pretty much. And you can see the objects in question a little bit better. So I've done that myself. And you can see it right here, which I made mine just a little bit lighter so we can see anything uh, that was darker. And guess what, guys? This, this thing's right in the photo. Now, right there. What is that? Is it something that... What could that be? I mean, I'm going to go ahead and bring that up a little bit. Add some pixels. That's all we're doing. And you can see it right here. Now, I added the little... The only thing I added here was the little white pieces right here. I actually just made them slightly lighter than what we've seen. Now, you can see it right here. Of course, it's going to go back to this, the original sh uh, size and see it right here. Because it's, it's so small, the more you zoom in, obviously, the more it breaks up. So you can see what looks like little white squares or little white details, if you will. I don't know if I'd call them windows, call them what you will. But they look like these little white squares. And by adding the extra pixels to it and bringing this photo up, now I'm only at 118% as opposed to what I was, like 230 or 250, whatever it was. 
and now I can zoom into this pretty decently and you can see this and all I did to this was just simply just put a little bit of light uh, whiter areas and just kind of bring up whatever's white bring it out a little bit more um, what you'll notice too is it looks like there's like roadways going to this thing and people will say well why the hell would they have roads on on the moon well this moon's been around for a long long time man who knows what's going on or what's going on in this on this moon or what has going on it um, I honestly think this uh, this was this moon was also uh, visited many times by spacecraft. I'm going to be doing a video on that too about these downed craft or what looks like crafts. Um, again, this is only my opinion and just speculation, nothing more. Um, I had somebody, a couple people tell me, oh, it's nothing but speculation on my last video. It's like, yeah, it is speculation. Why? Because we can't see, we can't literally go and handle these things or walk up to and touch them. So yeah, that's all we can do is speculate and, and you know, it's just pure conjecture in, in, in a sense because again there's no way to vet a lot of this so you know it is what it is but nonetheless you know I like to have I like to think that my videos are thought provoking and have people look at these themselves all right let me go to this over here because this is another this is pretty pretty wild actually I wanted to show you this look at this area right here what well, looks like again looks like roads going to this and it looks like this triangular area and this foundation or platform, I call them platforms, <coughs> excuse me, um, and it looks like there's actually something there. Now, you know, clearly these are these giant craters are up here and the smaller one here. These are like platforms that are literally above the ground. Um, and I've showed this in plenty of my moon uh, videos. Uh, here's another area right here. And I don't know if we can do this, but let's go file. Uh, we'll do... Uh, we'll go to we'll go CMYK for the hell of it. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll go like this. And you can see this right here it has what looks like this weird shaped, almost like U-shaped piece here. And again, this triangular piece here. Now, again, you've got this one, this one, so on and so forth. And again, you've got that platform here. I call them platforms for lack of a better word. I mean, foundations, uh, uh, you know, just landscape, if you will. Um, okay. Let's go to, again, you've got these three here. Now, there's a ton of this on this, guys. This, this, yeah. Um, let's go to over here. This is pretty interesting, this part here, because this kind of blew my mind. You've got one here, and you've got something in the middle of this. Now, again, because it's low res, we don't know if there's multiple things on this, this uh, you know, foundation or landscaping, call it what you will. Um, you've got this one here. And something right there. And, of course, these things look like they run off like there's roads that come in, uh, to and from it. Um, or it's just the way the landscape is on it, which is a very good possibility. And I'd be okay with that. At first, I thought this was some kind of weird bridge going across this crater. You can see it right here. But when you really get into this photo, um, when you get into this photo, which you can see. I'll just show you this right now. You'll see this is actually a seam. Because uh, they had not only the horizontal, but they also had pieces that they, uh, like, large square areas of, if it, it, you know what I mean, like this. You can see it's like a another stitch. So they must have had the horizontal and, like, blocky areas of that particular uh, sections, and that's what they did. They stitched it all together to make this big uh, photo of the moon. Um, but what I found interesting here was, when you zoom into this, check this out. What is this here? It appears to have letters on it, like an S... But then I can't make up the rest of it. Uh, this almost looks like it's an L, maybe an A. I'm not sure. And then this is you know, not legible at all. But then why would the S be this way and these are this way? So it kind of doesn't make any sense. But check this out. I'm going to go ahead and dock in this area a little bit. And I don't know what to make of that. But, you know, they look like they're connecting, so on and so forth. And it has this weird lettered stuff going on right here. Um, so that's, that's pretty wild. I mean, let me do it this way. Image and go back to... Go back to that, and just for the hell we'll do that. Okay, so you've got this area right here, what looks like it has lettering on it. Maybe you guys can make it out. Maybe it's a little bit more legible for you guys. I don't know. Um, up here as well, this is really strange, man. This is, and I I, I keep saying this because I've said this uh, to some of my friends that you know when we collaborate and do a lot of these videos that. I believe this has been, the moon has been a crash site for years. And I mean millions of years, maybe thousands of years, whatever it may be. Um, and this is like no different. I'm going to go ahead and dock in this whole thing. Um, and I'm going to get rid of the some of the 
brighter ears. But check this thing out. I don't know what this is here. Of course, I did this again. Well, let's go this way. It doesn't really matter. Um, well, let's go to the dark areas. And we'll go ahead and do this again. Go into the CMYK. Now, what you can see here is it goes like this here. Goes like that. Comes down. You can see the whiter area right here. And it kind of does has this look to it here. People are like, oh, there's my old Buick. Just kidding, guys. Um, but anyway, it has that weird shape to it. See that? Almost looks like it has something that comes down right here. And it has... Almost has that weird thing going on, you know. Uh, but whatever that structure is, it's being actually... They've taken a lot of this dark. And, and like I said, some of these objects you'll see like half white, half dark. Why? Because it's, well, one, it's because of these actual strips, if you will, the photos, um, could have been taken at different times, where the sun's hitting it differently, whatever the case is. Um, and this is the reason why you have dark and light. And this is the reason why you want to balance it out, if you will. Uh, and you can see that item right there. It's in gray, but that's okay. Um, you can see that right there, that object. Now, I don't know what that is, but I've seen things that look like spacecraft here, all kinds of crazy things on this moon. Um, and I've got some, you guys can look at some of my older uh, moon videos that I've done. Um, and here it is. Here's that weird thing, man. I just don't know. What are you guys are thinking here? Uh, it just looks like it's metallic. And again, I don't have to do thing, anything to this photo, man. I just, all I got to do is just go like this here, go into this, and I can see that right there, plain as day. And guys, you don't even have to zoom into it. Just take your eyepieces and look at it because you get better quality. Uh, than you would if you were zooming in. Um, in fact, I can just jump back out of this, and this is at 100%. This is the standard photo. I didn't add any pixels to this one, and I can look at that thing, and it clearly looks... Now, it looks intelligently made, and it does look metallic. So, but again, if you want... Look at these areas here. That one here I just showed you on the right. All of this here... I mean, this goes on and on and on. You guys can literally take this photo apart just by looking at it piece by piece, and it'll take you a while because there's so much in here to see... Um, what you're going to see, like I said, these little items here, which appear to be, like, like I said, on some kind of weird foundation, if you will, like this here, and you get this one here, and they all seem to be like on a platform, so to speak, and then there's something on them. Uh, some of them are really big, some of them are really small. This item right here, now I don't know if I had this one here. Let me see if I can brighten this up a bit and look back, go back a little bit. And yeah, right in here. You can see what looks like some kind of object sitting right here, and it has like this this area right here. It appears to be like reflective and has something dark on top of it. That one is really faint and hard to see, but just have a look at some of these things. I mean, all in a row, just all sitting here and there. And most people say, well, come on, those are not structures. What's wrong with you? Well, here's the thing. Why do we assume, why do we make the assumption that their structures are going to look like ours? Um, you know, different atmospheres, if any. Um you know, whether it be different gravities. Uh, I mean, there's a whole different ball game when it comes to different moons and planets, right? I mean, it, clearly they're going to be different than ours. Now, I'm not so sure if I believe some of the extreme, you know, temperatures and different things that uh, NASA JPL claims and, of course, all the other space agencies are in and on in this uh, as far as, like, what they're saying and following suit um, as far as, like, what color Mars is, so on and so forth. But... Uh, and just eyeball these things slowly. Just go over this stuff, and you're going to see some cool uh, just anomalies. And it doesn't matter what we think they are. Um, and you guys have your own way of thinking. I mean, you know, like uh, my buddy Will always says, you know, I see what I see, you see what you see. And that's basically what it comes down to. Um, anomalous just means something that stands out, basically, and it doesn't uh, basically uh, conform or is like the rest of the, uh, the surrounding area. So... I mean, when I seen that, I was just like, wow, what the hell is that, man? That's just crazy. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom in for anybody who's on the phones and on their tablets here. And you guys can tell me what you think this thing is. I'm not going to make this video very long. It is what it is. It's right here. Um, tell me what you think it is, guys. But this is cool. I, I like this here because it just kind of popped right out. And I didn't, again, didn't have to do a thing to it. Here's the, here's the original size with the balance. Well, pretty much balance as far as dock and, dock and light. It's right there. Can't get any better than that. Again, I can't zoom in too far because it does really start to pixelate and fall apart here. But on the phones and on the tablets, it may be a hair bit better. On mine, on my PC right now, it's completely grainy. It looks like crap. And we are at 500%. And if I want a hair bit more, 
this is what happens. You get that kind of, looks like that screen mesh kind of look to it because uh, it's just zoomed in so much. But uh, guys, give me your take on it. Let me know what you think. This, again, this is the very first photo taken of the moon, or I should say of Earth, um, and then it was basically over the moon at the same time, and this is, of course, this was the view you get. So uh, I'm not going to take it any more of your time, guys. I just wanted to show you that. I think that's pretty interesting, pretty cool stuff. Um, I do have some other videos come out. i got other moons, other planets. Oh, wait a minute. Can I do those? Other people might have done them already. <gasps> Just kidding, guys. Um, but anyway, like I said, we'll be doing more planets, moons, Mars coming up again. Um, just some awesome stuff, man. I've been working on some good stuff, trying to get it out. I'd rather take my time with these videos and come out with the better ones for you guys. I'm also going to go over the last video I did. For some reason, people have this mental block in their head that they believe two things. One, they go, uh, that's just all rocks, man. Just because they see rocks around a particular anomaly, they automatically include it as a rock, uh, which is clearly not true. Uh, I got people telling me, uh, are you, oh, cl clearly he's never been out in nature. I live in a mountain state, man. You know, I live in a mountain state where rocks are abundant and mountains are abundant and giant rocks and smaller rocks. I get it, man. I, I, I know. Um, or, or this is what I find too, is that people go, well, clearly it looks intelligent made. It's got to be earth. Why do people assume that? Why is it, what is with the mental block that people can't accept the fact that there could be life on Mars? Now, I said could be, or there at least was. Um, again, it's all speculation because, again, I can't go there, and I can't tell whether there is or not. Neither can anybody else. I don't care if you're NASA. Now, of course, NASA does have actually equipment there, uh, meaning rovers, orbiters, so on and so forth, and they know what's there. And we're pulling little bits and pieces of this stuff out, and this is what we're finding. And here's the thing. If they lied about the photos of the moon, and they've been manipulating since before the moon, meaning manned missions, I should say, then what makes anybody think that they wouldn't try to cover up anything on the Mars photos? Of course they will. If they're trying to suppress anything that's got to do with anything that's got to do with alien or any of that sort, they're going to do it no matter what planet, moon, or asteroid, whatever it is they want to show you, they're going to make sure that's exempt. You're not going to see that. So um, I, I just wish people would start just opening their minds up and go, well, there's a possibility. I mean, clearly, if this thing is real, like the anomalies I showed you, like the carved stone and the other thing that looked like it was anomalous, um, which means it stood out from the rest of the area, then there's a possibility uh, that there was life, intelligent life on Mars. And for some reason, people seem to have a problem with that. Like, oh, that's not true. Or, well, yeah, it does look intelligent. Made. Therefore, it's got to be on, on, on Earth. No, it doesn't. And they're not going to go out of their way to lie about their photos or take fake photos only to put intelligently made objects in it. Does that make any sense to you at all? So if they've been, this is the reason why I love going back to the moon, because the moon, of course, it's the moon. It's got some dynamite stuff on it. But it's not only that, but it's see, you can see the manipulation even back then. Like a few uh, videos ago, I did one about uh, hidden objects or anomalies on the moon. Uh, you can clearly see where they've done the blurring and stuff to try to get rid of each anomaly that's on the surface. If they're doing it then, they're not going to stop at the moon, guys. They're going to keep doing it. And for some reason, people can't get that through their heads. And I'm not talking about you, my subs. I'm talking about the people that just come, the transients, just kind of hopping along videos. And they just kind of go, oh, this guy's crazy. He's seeing, like, intelligently made things upon rocks. Yes. Yes. Um, in fact, I might even do a, a video on that in my own backyard and show you guys how easily is I can just put something all together with rocks and put something in there that are clearly look like the same color of sand and everything else around, like all on the other rocks, just because it's the same color on it, which a lot of it's manipulation. They put it over to make it look like it's a rock. Um, but when you dust it off, so to speak, like well, I use you know Photoshop to dust off their manipulations, but if you dust off the object you got in your own backyard and say, well, look, it's, inten uh, it's, in it's intelligently and intentionally made, from intelligent beings. So I don't know why some people are having a problem with this, but they do. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to take any more, more of your time. I just wanted to let you know. But uh, I do got some good ones coming up for you guys, so stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.